This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skid. What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Today, we're diving into something straight out of a cyber thriller. Could hackers use a Flipper Zero to take down the European power grid? Imagine waking Ooh. up one morning to find out your lights won't turn on, your phone won't charge, you can't even get online. Sounds like a dystopian nightmare, right? Now, a recent article from ARS Technica has the cybersecurity world buzzing, and we're gonna break it all down for you. We'll explore how cyber criminals are evolving their tactics, what this means for you, and why experts are more concerned than ever. Stick around, this one's gonna be wild. All right, so here's the deal. Researchers have uncovered a new cyber attack method that could potentially cripple the power grid all across Europe. And no, we're not talking about your typical script kitty trying to mess with your Wi-Fi. This is some serious nation state level stuff. According to the report, attackers could potentially exploit vulnerabilities in the power grid's operational technology. That means the systems controlling power distribution, substations, and more. Now, these aren't your normal everyday IT systems. We're talking about industrial control systems, or ICS, that were really never designed Designed with current cybersecurity threats in mind. The scariest part, many of these systems are decades old and retrofitting them to fit modern cybersecurity threats is a logistical nightmare. All right, so let's break down how this attack could go down. Step one, initial access. Hackers might start by targeting supply chain vulnerabilities or in outdated software on the grid management systems. This could include phishing attacks, exploiting software vulnerabilities, or compromising third-party contractors. And here's where the Flipper Zero comes into play. Researchers found that they could use the Flipper Zero's RFID abilities to send controls to real electrical equipment connected to the grid. And they're doing that by sending unauthorized radio ripple control telegrams to more or less instruct different electrical systems on the grid to do whatever they want. So that got the researchers thinking is, What's the maximum level of damage a potential malicious actor could actually inflict? Now, real quick, I do want to preface, this is not a Flipper Zero attack. They're just using the Flipper Zero for it because it's easy to use. There are actually much better applications and much better pieces of hardware for this attack. But again, they're using a Flipper Zero because it's accessible. So I don't want to hear any hate on Flipper Zero for any of this stuff. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. So at this stage of access, they could trip circuit breakers, they could overload systems, they could basically create a cascading failure that would leave millions of people without power. <laughs> And then just imagine the chaos that would ensue. Hospitals, traffic systems, communications, all brought to a standstill. And the scariest part is that these attacks could be extremely stealthy. They could stay dormant for months at a time before anybody even noticed anything was going on. And by the time they do, it may be too late to stop the damage. But you know what it's not too late for? Today's sponsor. PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for PCB design, manufacture, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication. They've got so many different possibilities. They can make any product of yours a success. I have worked with PCBWay on so many projects and every single time they absolutely nail it. They've got engineers on staff to help you every single step of the way and a module store that's got goodies, tools, all sorts of great stuff that'll make any project a reality. So head on down to PCBWay.com for a free instant quote. Thank you so much for your continued support. You guys are awesome. Let's get back at it. So now you might be wondering who has the skill and motive to pull this off. There are plenty of threat actors out there that definitely have the skills to pull these things off and have done it in the past. And typically these are state sponsored groups. We're talking about groups like Sandworm and APT28 that do have a track record of attacking critical infrastructure. In the past, we've seen these groups launch cyber attacks against the power grid in Ukraine, causing widespread blackouts. If they can do it there, what's stopping them from doing it in a larger scale in Europe? Governments are always scrambling to boost their defenses, but hackers, they're always one step ahead. The cyber arms race is real and the stakes have never been higher. So what are officials doing about this looming threat? Thankfully, cybersecurity teams all across Europe are really stepping up their game. They're implementing stronger monitoring systems, running penetration tests, and patching known vulnerabilities. But let's be real, with the complexity of these systems, only one small weak link is all it takes to be exploited. And if we look at even the most recent hacks, typically it's a phishing attack that gets people access. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be an email, not a flipper zero that compromises your system. Actually, what am I talking about nine times out of 10? 99.8 times out of 100, it's not gonna be this guy. 
This means that vigilance is key. Cybersecurity, it's not a one and done thing. It's an ongoing battle. And that's the whole struggle over blue team and red team. The blue team has to continually put up a defense Red team's only got to beat you once. All right, so maybe you're thinking at this point, hey, Sasquatch, what can I do about this? Well, cybersecurity awareness is not just for the big players. Here's a few things that you can do. If you happen to work in an industry that is connected to critical infrastructure, stay on top of current security protocols. Even if you're not in an industry that is connected to critical infrastructure, make sure all of your devices, even at home, are updated with the latest security patches. Because even your home devices can become attack vectors. If a hacker can you know hack your router they can make that router do anything they want you could easily become part of a botnet and then again you're part of the problem and then just in general be very very careful about social engineering and phishing attacks i literally get two to three phishing attempts every single week if not more people sending me pdfs so stay vigilant most importantly stay informed knowledge is power your body grows bigger, your mind has power. It's great to learn, because knowledge is power. It's also your best defense against cyber threats. So could hackers really take out the European power grid? Short answer, yes, but it won't be easy. The good news is that cybersecurity experts are working around the clock to try to defeat these cybersecurity threats. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and hit subscribe to keep on top of more cybersecurity deep dives. And hey, drop a comment down below. What do you think about this potential threat? Should governments do more to secure critical infrastructure? Or if you're feeling spicy, throw one of these algorithm-friendly keywords down in the comments for some SEO magic. Until then, stay safe, stay secure. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention was kind of the elephant in the room. Now you may have noticed over this video and my last video that we've got something covered up over there in the corner. Now, if it were up to me, it wouldn't be covered up but I'm technically not allowed to show or talk about it until next week. And actually next week, I won't be dropping my videos on Sunday like I always do. It's actually gonna go out on Monday. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be super exciting and it's launching as early as it possibly can be. So we're gonna be at least tied for the first person to ever be able to talk about these things on YouTube. But either way, I am super excited and hopefully it'll be a cool video too. I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way for A, people keep asking about it and B, I wanted to let you guys know that i will be doing a video next week it's just coming out a day later all right as always you guys are absolute legends thank you so much for watching i love you guys we'll catch you next time